Richard Phelps didn't wait long before he got this final of the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup underway. It's two men from the British squad on the right of your pitcher. Multi and Neander Club, the world silver medalist, and on the left of your pitcher, it's another two men from the British squad. They are fighting to get into the cruise. University of London and Neander Club, Ollie Cook and Stuart Innes. Yeah, absolutely, we'll be watching these crews racing each other in Lucerne um, next week, but right now they haven't got the advantage of boys, Martin, and have a look at that um, Foden language. They're being warned by the umpire. They've come very close to their less experienced pair there. They've come away from the booms on the right-hand side, those wooden booms, and, um, you know, they were warned at an early stage, Martin. They were. Matty Langridge, he's the... Uh person on the left of your screen in the boat nearest to you he's got a rating of 41 and a half strokes a minute early on in this race just for people who don't quite understand the uh, the rating what does that mean Sarah yeah if you look at the spoons of the blade that uh, go into the water you can see that they happen uh, that's called when they come in and come out that's a stroke and the numbers we're calling out are the number of strokes per minute and usually you'd expect a crew to go off in a, a small boat like this in the mid 40s and then stride out as they come into this middle part of the race to maybe you know mid 30s perhaps if it's a very tight race and this match race and they want to get ahead they might stay up in the high 30s um, and in fact Mahi Dreisler we saw him in the latter part of the race yesterday at 19 strokes a minute because he'd done his work and he was taking it right down but that's not usual for an international race. So, we're looking at uh, four men from the British squad, ladies and gentlemen. Furthest away from you, the pair in the lead, the world silver medalists. Patty Langridge from Leander Club and James Fode, the man from Molsey Club, in the black. They are the world silver medalists. They will try and emulate that feat uh, later this year, it would be, in the World Championships in Egg Bellet. And they have been, well, not very nice, I guess, in terms of steering to their squad mates. Ollie Cook, that's him with the fair hair in the pair, just behind Language and Fode. He's trying to steer out of the wash or the wake of the Multi and Neander Club crew. They are behind at the moment, but... Uh, they had such a determined semi-final win against South Africa, South Africa's pair, the best South Africa had to offer yesterday, that I know that uh, Stuart Innes and Ollie Cook will just blast all the way down the course. And to me, Sarah, that's why Matty Langridge had the rate so high, because he saw what his British uh, squad mates did to the South Africans yesterday. And the umpire... I think Richard Phelps is warning language of They are being really nasty, aren't they? Do you know what? I mean, you could say they're being nasty. You could say they're being, you know, um, mindless here, actually. I haven't seen the boat actually make a big change. You can see that M, the black strip of Molesley that James Fode has on it. You'd be expecting that the guys in that boat to be moving towards us. And you see them now, they do move. He's, but that was moved. quite a well, lot of warnings. And you saw when we, you know, the other pair, when they went through the South Africans yesterday, you know, we know they've got a fast second half. To me, that is language and foe. They're on the left of your picture, showing the maximum respect to Stuart Innes and Ollie Cook. They know how good they are, and they are going to play every trick in the book. Matty Language, the former world junior champion single sculler. Both these men won bronze in the Olympic in 2012. They are so experienced. And, you know, if they're washing me down, I'm fed up. But I'm thinking, you know, why are they washing me down? It's because they're worried. And Foden and Langridge, the world silver medalists, are worried. That's not such a big gap in pairs. And Innes and Cook will fight, fight, fight to the end. And they will take this as a great race, the uh, British, two British squad men out of his shot. So Langridge and Fode move back over towards the right-hand side of the river, to the Berkshire Bank. I'm not sure who's still. I think it's Matty Langridge, the stroke man. But you see there why match racing is so significant. And look at the wake, Sarah. You can see the wake they're sending down, which is bouncing the boat of uh, Cook and Innes. Yeah, absolutely. And Stuart Innes, he's been in the eight recently, eight and crazy to come out of that into this small boat. You really feel every bounce in these pairs. In the slightly bigger boat, they're heavier, the momentum's more, and it's a little bit more robust. But these little boats, and look at that, that language and that stroke seat sitting closest to us on the pink white top with the pink bottoms. You know, he is really working hard, but 
they are coming across again. This is very naughty. It's like the boat race, isn't it? I mean, if one crew gets ahead in the boat race, generally Oxford, they'll just go ahead of the others, say Cambridge, and wash them down. And that's what the British are doing. It's gamesmanship, but they are that far ahead, and the umpire's allowing them to do that. It's going to be interesting to see what Innes and Cook there, the British squad pair behind, will do about it. And you can see the uh, wake of the water there, both crews having to fight to keep that boat level, Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's busy out on the Ogata site today. It's a wonderful day, this final day at Henny Royal Ogata. You can see it's a, a windy conditions again, and that means that the water does get whipped up. And you can see that the conditions are, are good for the rowers here, but you know it, it will be challenging for the, these smaller boats. But at the moment, look, Foden language, their tactics are working, Martin. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls watching around the world on YouTube or on BBC Sport or BBC Sport website, you are seeing two men who hope to win medals for Britain in Rio next year. Matthew Langridge closest to you, James Foe furthest away from Molsey Boat Club. They are on form, they are having an absolute blast in this event. They do not want their squad mates, the crew behind. Stuart Innes and Ollie Cook. Stuart Innes, closest to you, has subbed in the British eight for Constantine Leloudis, and uh, Alex Gregory has been waxing lyrical about what a sterling job he's been doing, Sarah. And of course, Ollie Cook, the blonde head, Ollie Cook, such a famous figure around. He actually rode in a pair in 2013 with James Foe at the World Championships. I think they came seventh there in Chongju in the small final. So, they know each other, which makes the kind of, you know, gamesmanship even more interesting. I know, Martin. They'll know each other, they'll train together, they'll spend a lot of time at Caversham, which is the heartbeat of British rowing, if you like, now. And I think we've talked about lottery funding before. I mean, the depth and the strength of the British squad now, because they've had the support of that lottery funding for now, you know, nearly 12 years, it has made such a difference. And you're looking at two of the best athletes, Matt Langridge, you know, he's been on the scene, world junior champion in his time, came through to the seniors. He now is, you know, in this pair, looking for Rio. And, you know, this is a world-class performance here at Henley Royal Regatta on finals day. So Matthew Langridge looks for the finishing line for once, twice, three times. Yes, it is there, Matthew. Hands go in the air. They'll hope that the New Zealanders, Eric Murray and Hamish Bond, who will, they will face in Lucerne in a week's time, are watching that. Stuart Innes and Ollie Cook cross the line. Well done to you guys. You've had a fantastic win. had a brilliant win against the South Africans in yesterday's semi-final. Hello to Hamish and Eric Murray, the best two rowers in the world, I think, probably watching this transmission, I guess, on YouTube in Switzerland. The British will be out for you, as you know, and uh, I'm sure you're enjoying the pictures and the sights and sounds of Henley that you can see on finals day today.